Yo, welcome guys, I have great news for you. The Diablo 4 expansion Vessel of Hatred has been finally announced. And the reason why that happened is that um, yesterday there was the Xbox 2024 game showcase. And since Microsoft acquired Blizzard and Activision, they used this opportunity to present Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred expansion to the public. And the official release date is the 8th of October this year. They have also made a fantastic trailer, like really nice storytelling. It's really smooth. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to watch it here with you guys, so I will link it below and you should watch it. It's, it's really, really good. And alongside of this, we are actually getting a new class. And the class is called a Spiritborn. And it reads a bit like a Druid. And also this class makes us getting a confirmation on a data leak that was happening previously. So if we're looking here at this data mine, data mine um, information, we are seeing that the spirit born was there already, like was known already for quite a while. The leak is from Reddit. And we can also get some small insights on what the character will be like, what he will have, like what kind of spells will he have, what will he be around. And that's also why I'm saying it reads a bit like a druid. It has like something related to the nature, to the animals. Like here we are seeing like some soil. Here we are seeing a skill where um, it's putting some kind of projectiles, maybe like bats, no? it's a form of bats, something like this. So if you're interested in all those data mind information and you would want to have like a sneak peek of what the class could actually look like, let me know in the comments and I will make a video especially about the data leak regarding Spiritborn and what the class could look like. Then alongside the new class, there's actually um, four other big parts that are being released. And one part is a new region coming right here on the map, on the bottom, so in the south. And this, um, this region will feature new dungeons, new strongholds and all, everything like this, but it will also be the place where you can play the new story, the new campaign. And if the campaign is as slapping as the trailer, I have no doubt like the cutscenes and the story here will be fantastic. Something that came for me pretty unexpected was that they are reintroducing the mercenaries that we already know from Diablo 3, which was basically um, little guys that run with you and you can give them like certain abilities, you can equip them with items, and they will assist you in combat. So I personally think it's a really nice thing because you have more to equip, you have more to vary. There's different builds going to be around those um, those guys as well. So I think it's a nice addition. And now let's come to a bit more controversial one because what they mean here with new co-op endgame activity is actually raids. And I know that some people really like raids, they like to group up and other people don't like it. And then there's those kind of people that like it but only if they have a group finder in game. And I would probably be like group number three. Like I think it's really good that they're adding raids, that they are maybe also doing that as a first step to bring more use to clans and guilds. But I know that lots of people that play Diablo 4, they enjoy playing solo and actually like they would prefer the game being offline. So um, I hope that they are at least adding a group finder so you can find your teams and that they have different difficulty settings. So maybe one difficulty setting that will actually um, be you're able to complete with like random people, no communication. And then one difficult setting with like higher rewards where you need to be a group that's like organized in Discord, has great communication, time their skills and stuff. So there's actually an advantage of playing together in like a big team and being well coordinated. I also hope that they are having a, um, a ranking system surrounding about how fast they can clear that dungeon and stuff like this. I think that would be cool. And then, yeah, of course, they are talking a lot about um, other updates that are coming. But I think what's here to mention is um, new skills are coming for each class. Not only new skills, also new passive. And Apparently new Paragon boards, but there was nothing data mined yet. And legendary cliffs are coming. Because it's 
as you know, we currently only have blue and yellow glyphs. And yeah, maybe we are going full legendary, or maybe they are doing the legendary ones so spare that um, you have to choose really wisely where your position won your legendary glyph. Nah? I think that could give like some new strategy levels and in them. And we are already seeing it here with the dark desert. I think it's great. They do introduce pets. And the best thing about it is you do not have to wait until Vessel of Hatred hits. If you're logging in today, you're doing the quest, you're instantly getting a free pet and you can use it right away after the base patch. And it makes the collecting really easy because it does collect basically anything besides um, actual armor sets. So that means it will pick up your gold, it will pick up your cinders, all of that that makes you have an unfluent gameplay because you have to backtrack to pick up loot. All of this is gone. And that paired with the option that 10 of your legendary items are going into the bar, into your chest when you log off, makes it really pleasant to farm. And I think just due to that change, like my farm speed um, increased just because I have a pet. So, yeah, also a nice side effect of having more gold per hour. And now let's finish it up with something that probably most people are looking for the actual prices of the bundles and which one you should buy and which one i bought i will always work there so the prices here is if you don't have the um the game the first option you can get diablo 4 and the expansion together that's 70 euro fair price um, for both and if you don't have it this is your best option then next up for 40 euro we are having this uh, for 40 dollars sorry we are having the standard version for the deluxe edition, it is 60 bucks. And for the ultimate edition, it is 90 bucks. And what's important to note here is there is no early access. So there's actually a fair pricing. You do not have to buy anything just to enter it more like earlier than other people. They completely removed that. I'm really grateful. I think it's really fair for all the people to do it that way. And I did not expect that I'm going to be saying that today, but their prices are actually fairly cheap. If we are remembering 2014 Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls release, it was also 40 bucks. So just by inflation alone, they would actually have to sell their game for 53 euro to make the same uh, for 53 dollars. Holy shit, I'm not using dollars to, uh, to to make like the, the the same out of the game. So I think the pricing with that DLC for 40 bucks is actually more than I expected. And on the other ones, the only things that you are getting pay bonus is actually um, cos primary cosmetic nature. So like if you want to have like, for example, that pet right here, huh, then you have to buy one of the other packages. Huh? If you want to have a new mount, you have to do that. And um, I just wanted to make you like aware of like one little tricky that they did here. Um, they tried to do like one thing right here. We are having 60 bucks. Here we are having 90 bucks. And they're adding 3000 platinum here to have, um, to have the gap and the value not feeling too far off. So like they're, they're considering, okay, 60 bucks, they might want to pay that extra now, but they're not paying 90 extra just to get like a one little bit more cosmetic. Nah? So they are dumping this currency in that they can create for free, which is estimately about 30 bucks. So the people think, oh, that's actually not a good deal. If I buy, if I get, if I buy this, nah, I get this, this is like 30 bucks, but I get all of this for free. So don't fall into a trap. If you do not like any of the, um, of the cosmetics, just buy the regular version. This is also the version that I buy. If you're really craving for one of the cosmetics, then just go for it. But it's not needed or like giving you an advantage regarding like a pay to win state or anything. Yeah, if there's any more questions regarding the expansion, let me let me know. I will try to answer them. And if you are interested, I will make a video about what you can expect from this third form. Yes, guys.